Hey guys, Todd Spoon here. Welcome back to Little Nightmares Part 2. Well, no, sorry, Little Nightmares 2. Um, in the last video, we defeated the Doctor and got to this point. I'm sorry I missed the video last week. I was doing something and forgot all about it. I'm really sorry. Anyway, let's carry on. I'm really sorry about that. I'm really sorry that I missed it last week. Anyway, let's carry on. With a fall. Amazing. Let's carry on with a fall. Oh my god. Oh, sorry about this, guys. I've got what I had to do. Come on, Sarah, we've got this. Hmm. Uh, I vaguely remember what to do. Very vaguely. again, I forgot. Uh, I don't remember where the key is. Oh, there. Um, I think I figured it out last time. Um, hmm, I think so. Yeah, I think I figured it out last time. Sarah stays at the top. Box head goes to the top. We call said elevator. And then we get ready for it. To, then we get ready to jump. And voila! I figured it out last in the last video, but I didn't have. Uh, it was getting a bit annoying. I had to do it all over again, and yeah, sorry about that. Come on, Sarah. Best friends forever. Come on. I'll never let you go. What is that? Wait, though, I've seen pictures of that. Like, in game. Of people drawing a tower. I've seen pictures of a tower like that. Weird. We'll go in here. Oh, of course I climbed this. Okay. Uh, Sarah, can you give me a boost? Thank you. Oh, wrong way. Alright, Sarah, grab onto the coat hanger. 
Hold on. You want me to jump? Alright. I'll trust you, you seem to be a good friend. Alright. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, now I know you'll always be there for me. Always ready to catch me when I fall. Thank you. One side up here. Ah, the window. No? Yes? Oh, there we go. Was we meant to push door? Sarah, push! Wait, wait, wait. Push! So you all meant to push the door. Oh, this place is collapsing. Turn and run. Is that meant to happen? Oh, yes. Wait, where's Sarah? Sarah, no! 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 Sarah! No! Oh, wait, she's still alive. Sarah, no! Thank you, Sarah. Oh, really, you should be thanking me. Because I saved you from that sofa. Oh, Sarah, I thought we lost you then. I thought we lost you for a second then, Sarah. Don't do that to me again. Look, another puzzle box piece with an eye symbol on it. Drawings of an eye. Or drawings. Uh. Drawings of people watching TV, drawing of the TV, a drawing of the tower, drawing of the eyes, a drawing of, again, a man in a pinstripe suit, a very tall man from that picture that I can judge, um, a set of, a drawing of pyjamas, I believe, I believe it's a drawing of pyjamas, what? Too sure. 
Oh. Oh no. Once again, Mono is summoned. Once again, Mono is called by the TV by the static or something that's living inside the static. during all of this. Oh. Once again we are in front of the door that Mono has tried to open many times upon interacting with the TV and has been pulled back by Sarah. Why? What is it? But what is this door? Is it a door to another universe? Is it a door is it a prison cell door? Trapping something? Oh! Oh! Oh, we're about to find out! Oh! It's the man in the pinstripe suit! Oh no! The tall man in the pinstripe suit! Oh no, he was a prisoner, he was a prisoner, oh no, Mono what have you done, oh no it's not Mono sorry, Fox said what have you done, even Sarah's telling you off, Fox said what have you done, he was a prisoner, he was a prisoner inside the static, and now Fox said freed him, oh no, Fox said what have you done, he freed him from his prison. Oh no. Fox said, what have you done? He freed the very tall static man from his prison. Oh no. Oh no. Oh! No! Sarah! No! Wait, what's that? What the hell? Wait, what's that? Wait. Wait! Wait! Throughout the game, we've been finding these blue characters. What if they're blue characters from where the... No, I was going to say, what if they were Echoes in Star Wars? Um, in Star Wars, Jedi, people who have the Force, uh, can find Echoes, like messages that only Jedi can listen to. And these Echoes are basically things that have happened in the past. And I was going to say, what if these are echoes of people from the past that the tall man in the pinstripe suit has grabbed and when he grabs them, they leave echoes of themselves behind to show that was where they was last happy before the man grabbed them. But the man was trapped, so he couldn't have been. He was trapped in the static, so he couldn't have been. Oh my God, what have we done? Fox said, you idiot, why would you open that door? Why would you open the door to the static universe? Wait, now it sounds different, what the hell? What the hell? What, what the hell? What the hell? That was an eyeball! What the hell? Do we have to climb out of a... Oh, Box said, what have you done? 
Oh, Boxhead. You have no idea what you've done, Boxhead. You freed a being from a static prison. And now he's kidnapped Sarah. And you also seem to have static powers. And Boxhead seems to have some kind of ability to travel through static. That's interesting. Hang on. That's quite interesting. Boxhead seems to have some kind of ability to travel through static. The tall man in the pinstripe suit has the ability to also travel through static. Except he was escaping static to escape his prison. I don't know if that's just a coincidence that two characters have powers that are similar. There could be family. It could be his dad. I feel like the man in the pinstripe suit could be his dad. I don't know. It would make sense that it could be his dad because of the uh, similar powers. But at the same time, I don't know. I really don't know. What is it I need to do? Uh, or am I doing it wrong? I might be doing it wrong. Hang on. I get it. Okay guys, so because they have similar powers, I have one question. If Pinstripe Man is Boxhead's dad, then I only have one question. Will Boxhead turn out the same? Will Boxhead leave Sarah behind and befriend his dad? Will Sarah leave will Boxhead leave Sarah behind to be with his dad? That's one question I do have. If it is his dad. As I said, I'm not hundred percent sure that it's his dad. But it's just funny that the powers could be the same. Or well, not it's just funny that the powers seem similar. So either it's someone that's related to Boxhead or it could just be someone who's not even related to him. Either it's someone that's related to him or someone that just so happens to have the same powers. Or there is a third option, but I don't want to consider that yet. I don't want to consider the third option yet, just in case I'm wrong. I don't want to consider that just in case I'm right. Like, just in case I'm wrong about it, because... Oh, TV mate. I don't like the third option. It might be, it might be, what is actually happening. I don't know, but I want to consider that Boxhead could be the Pinstripe Man's dad, uh, the Pinstripe Man's son. I like that option better.
on the TV. Uh. Okay, so you travel between two different TVs. So if I then turn this TV off, you tra you're traveling between static of two different televisions so if I turn that TV off I'm hoping I will travel to another television oh I can pull this oh I didn't realize I could pull this to pull it anymore. Ah, that's why. Oh, which means I need to turn that TV on again. Or I need to go back to the TV, sorry. There's that song again from Little Nightmares 1. That TV advert or something, whatever it is. Oh. I thought this was the way out. Clearly not. Um. Yeah, I've messed up. We start from checkpoint. I've messed up. Alright, leave this television on. Uh, I didn't mean to fall. Just so you guys know, I didn't mean to fall. I had no intention of falling. Yeah, that's still there, God. Turn this television on. And we are across. But where are we going? Yeah, that's weird, so... While the TV is on, she's forced to... While the TV is on, she... So... While the TV is on... It's like hypnosis. She... Stuck looking at the TV, so she's forced to watch the TV while it's on. Whatever this station is, this static. Once the TV is on, the static's on the screen. It's forcing people to watch, and they can't take their eyes off it. That's weird. They can't take their eyes off it unless the, unless the TV's turned off. That's weird. That's really weird. Forced to watch until it turns off. Oh no, don't! 
Oh, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I didn't mean to kill him. Not at all, I didn't. Oh my god. Wait, what the hell? Wait, I wonder if it's this TV station that's made everyone... I wonder if it's this TV station that's made everyone's faces go different. I wonder if this uh, static or whatever it is... Wait, the tower? The tower? The tower could be the source of the, sig of the static. And... When people are forced to watch the TV, it's slowly changing them. The longer they watch the TV, the more it changes them, and that could be why half the population are monsters and are now as aggressive as they are. Because of the, sta the tower is using the static to control people and to capture all the little, little, old people. Um, what is going on? What? Oh my god. The static has truly driven people insane. What the hell? Oh, oh wait, if I... Ah! Before you jump into a TV, it's always good to know where you're going to jump to, guys. That's why I went out the window. It electrifies the water. Oh no, I've got a bad feeling about this. Damn! My god, um... Why is that a thing? Why is that a thing that I can electrocute people? Okay. Um... Where did this go? down okay this goes down to a mail room wait what's this wait do i just need to push the pack do i just need to push the package here or something because there's a stamp on it and that looks like a letterbox I'm guessing something's going to happen and I'm going to get a key.
Well, I can't push it anymore. Okay, I'm guessing I'll just leave up there. Oh, I need to use the box to. Oh, I get it. Okay. I need to use this to activate the lever. What lever? Okay, so you've got a TV. Okay. This takes me up. Okay. Go through the TV at any point. Oh, I think I get what to do. There was that floor with the toy cars. There was a floor with the toy cars. I think I get what to do now. I need to be very quick, sorry. Ah! Like so. Alright guys, I think I'm going to end this video here. Uh, thank you guys for watching and as always I'll see you guys in the next video of Little Nightmare 2. Thank you and goodbye.